Dialogue of Our Lord Jesus Christ and His Beloved Daughter Lusta Maria January 9, 2017 Our Lord, my beloved, I see man, my son, whom I love with eternal love, boasting about the future with the aim of progressing in every aspect of life, when at this instant his duty is to grow spiritually and to draw near to me. Mankind is lost amidst the weeds that it has created in order to fix everything worldly and evil, raving about the instant that will not come, trampling one another without thinking, interpreting my designs and denying my word. My beloved, will it be of greater benefit to my children to believe themselves saved, to belong to a social elite, to possess the greatest wealth, to have merely human respect, to be mentioned in the media, to be praised by men, to feel that they are idols, to hold sway over a people, to possess the greatest and most sophisticated weapons, contaminate the creation, dictate laws to destroy life by allowing abortion, accepting relationships against human nature. This, my beloved, among so many things that I keep in my heart and could mention to you, Luce de Mario Lord of my life, none of this is profitable for man, none of it brings him closer to your love. As you teach me, wheat must be fixed on firm ground so that weeds do not take shelter among the wheat and cause it to be lost. Humanity consents to the aridity of the human heart, accepts the lack of your presence, as the human creature, being given over to what does not come from you, lives by what is immediate, forgetting that all this is transient. Our Lord, beloved, the passing instant melts away between the fingers of men's hands, not taking into account that in order to be saved he has to offer and obey, fulfill and surrender. So many are they who say that they love me by being present in my temples every day, and I, knowing the depths of the soul, see the discomfort, disinterest and lack of fulfillment towards the divine word. I experience the great apathy with which I am treated and the contempt of being ignored. I see how false human appearances surpass love for me. I look at the preference of some of my representatives for certain social and even political elites in order to remain among the top positions. I look at these priests of mine lacking spiritual accompaniment. How much power evil holds over man at this instant. So much that it manipulates him to the utmost. So much so that, in search of the best possessions in order to be admired, my children, men and women, are deceived and live without respect for themselves. I grieve for those who live by appearances or by convention. How far these modern styles of life and love are from me. Indecency in women's clothing is a sign of the emptiness they carry inside. Woman has lost her values, decorum, decency, modesty, discretion and sensitivity. The little masculinity with which men dress gives clear signals as to what is happening to man in this instant. They look with contempt at the gift of life. They see how man has become a creature emerging from darkness, a product of the decadence that you will no longer be able to reverse until humanity is totally purified. Our Lord, my beloved one, tell me, how many of my people enter deeply into sacred scripture and the explanation of my calls with the purpose of freeing themselves from the ignorance that they carry with them? How insistently my mother has wished to hold back evil for this generation. Her calls were ignored and continue being ignored because of human respects that are leading you to greater suffering. With evil rooted in man, weapons of mass destruction will intensify their lethal action, Coupled with the false idols that man has created, among them, abortion and its consequences are the arrows of Satan. In the absence of the fear of offending me the human person has given himself over to the guidance of Satan. You betray me and forget the divine law by agreeing to this planned amnesia, telling me, stay away from us. We do not want to know you my people only want to survive in any way, without any feeling, mandate, rule respect or love. Man has forgotten his condition as a child of God. Luce de Maria, my Lord, the lack of awareness of the instant in which humanity finds itself has been programmed through man's estrangement from you. Your people are as when Moses was on Mount Sinai and they no longer wanted to wait. They have created sculptures of Satan, to whom they surrender. 
and he sends his legions to impel men to fall into degeneration and the worst of ignominies and heresies. Our Lord, my beloved, humanity will not stop until it suffers what it has generated. Part of the purification is approaching from space. The force and vibration of celestial objects that travel through space will directly influence the Earth's orbit, causing the Earth's axis to move and the Earth's centrals and the Earth's center of gravity correspond to that vibration and magnetism. Altering the normal rotation, disasters will increase, one earthquake after another will occur without men being able to assist one another promptly, since conditions will prevent it. The fury of the waters will flood the coasts and communications will be altered to the extreme. Then men will see that his technology cannot stand on its own, but depends on what the divine hand has created in order to continue advancing. Man is not the creator but the slave of what he has created. Nothing goes beyond where our trinity allows. If just for one instant you would listen to my word and that of my mother, humanity would find itself far from so many mistakes and errors. The human will has achieved supremacy in the face of the lack of knowledge of our will. A god of solutions is what humanity seeks. And when those solutions do not fit human desire, it has opted for the devil. Spread our word in season and out of season, awaken souls as I command you, my people. Everyone has the power of decision, each one of you, my children, has the power of choice. Those who have decided distortedly to turn away from me are those who destroy everything in their path, beginning with the gift of life and leading humanity to suffer cruelly. All those who possess power for determining norms, laws and who can interfere with the peoples, and have used it for evil, if they do not repent in due time, before the appointed hour, will not obtain my mercy. This is the instant for repentance, for conversion, this one, not another. Pray, children, pray for Australia, lament comes to that land. Pray, children, pray for Indonesia. The Colossus awakens. Pray children for Italy. It suffers because of the great volcano that was dormant. Pray, children, pray for my church. She is divided and the sheep are scattered. My people, come to me, attend to my pleas. My blessing abides in you. My love claims you. My mercy awaits you. Your Jesus, Hail Mary most pure, conceived without sin. Hail Mary most pure. Conceived without sin, Hail Mary most pure, conceived without sin, 